Greetings and salutations from beautiful West Palm Beach, Florida, burr, 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 where I'm currently wearing a hoodie when it's 5,000 degrees outside. I know, I know, I'm a psycho. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I know all of your favorite fashion YouTubers are still talking about summer, but let Marco give you what you really need those fall looks. I live in West Palm. I work in Miami. So my fall is a little bit different than most. However, we still get some chilly days down here and I'm going to show you some of the pieces I'm going to be mixing in to help me get through this transitional period. But first of all, I want to acknowledge some of the growth that we've been having on the channel. I really appreciate you all taking time to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. The numbers are doing a lot better than I honestly ever really expected. So thank you so much. And if it's your first time watching me or if you've been watching me on and off you know for the last few weeks but still haven't committed to subscribe go ahead and click that subscribe button show your boy some love you know what I mean you know, show me a little bit of love and if you like this video please click that like button and of course you can always click that bell icon if you're really really loving the content so you'll know when I drop new videos and also I want to acknowledge the fact that I am once again late on the videos work has been crazy intense we did a crazy build out of the store it is absolutely beautiful and I I can't wait to put together some vlog footage so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing on a day to day basis. So that is coming soon. But for now, let's get into those fall looks. For look one, I wanted something really simple, pairing this Uniqlo U Gundam T-shirt with my Subi Haslow in Philly blue. I love the bold graphics on the shirt as well as the yellow color. And they paired really nicely with the simplicity of the Haslow. No rips, no cuts, just really clean, plain, light blue jeans. The shirt I picked up in an extra large because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. Now, this particular shirt may be about two or three years old, but I'm sure you can find it for a great price on eBay or Macari or Depop or any of your other fashion resale sites. Like I said, I went with the light blue color in the jeans, mostly to keep the focal point on the t-shirt, on the graphics on the t-shirt. We just really wanted that to shine in this particular look. As for the Haslow, it's one of the newer cuts from Subi, so it's not one of their signature skinny jean styles, but leans more in that place between a Levi's 502 and a 501. Not quite tapered, not quite straight right in between the two, which I guess technically would mean it is slightly tapered, but you can kind of tell from the on body look. They fit perfectly over my Ramones, which added a little bit of Lux Rebellious to the look. For my layering piece, I put on my favorite Banana Republic Factory Twill overshirt in black just to bring it all together and help me cover up on those chillier days or those chilly commute train rides that I take on a day-to-day -day basis. I see this as an errands running type look, so I added my Subi and Haji World collaboration bag in this really cool custom camo. The bag is very, very spacious and easy to carry. So it's great for shipping packages as well as bringing home groceries from the store. For look two, I wanted to do a cardigan and shorts look that really reflected my own personal style. I grabbed this Obey Rose cardigan in this beautiful, beautiful tealish green color. It's really tough to nail down exactly what this color is, but it definitely leans more towards the green side. And I love, love, love this rose pattern that's stitched right into the front of the cardigan. The colors are absolutely beautiful together. I actually picked this one up from PacSun on one of those buy one, get two free kind of deals. And I fell in love with it instantly. It was a great, great price and a great, great deal. I actually got a couple of things that I wear pretty regularly. It's very light and cozy, perfect for that South Florida fall where it never gets really below, I don't know, 60 degrees. I paired it with this linen blend Banana Republic Factory V-neck t-shirt, this time in a cream color as I've shown it off before in black. It's super comfy while also straddling that line between edgy and acceptable. And of course, that cream color always blends really, really well with Rick pieces. Speaking of Rick, I paired it with my favorite Rick Owens and Champion Dolphin boxer shorts. They really help punch up the outfit and take it from preppy to fashion. 
I capped off the look with my Rick Owens and Adidas Mastodon stretch boots, which turned out to be surprisingly versatile in my wardrobe. I wear these things all the time. I think I say that every time that I talk about these shoes, but they are incredibly versatile. They work, look good with shorts. They look good with jeans. They look good with the myriad of crop trousers that I own. For look three, I went with something that is both sleek and also made me feel quite sexy when I wore it. I landed on this beautiful Subi Heart Resort shirt. This one really speaks to me as it reminded me of one of my favorite movies, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, which if you haven't seen it, probably one of Leonardo DiCaprio's best performances, at least young Leo, at least one of young Leo's best performances. It is both campy, over the top, modern, but like retro all at the same time. I would highly recommend you watching it. Not that this is a movie review. We're here to talk about fashion. I paired it with these Rick Owens Cupro joggers that I picked up from the real world a while back and actually showcased in my new Rick pickups video from a little while back, which I will put right up here or over here, depending on where it pops up, but it will be on top of the screen. They are light and flowy, which really, really matches the vibes of the Subi Resort shirt. And as a little styling tip, I like to keep the little bottom button open to give those Rick drawstrings a little room to breathe and show off under the shirt. And also, you know, I got a little tummy down here, so I don't want anything gripping on my waist showing off my muffin top. I rocked my Rick Owens abstract boots to bring the whole look together and to give it a little bit more of an edgy fall vibe. I really love the way the joggers sit at the bottom of these particular shoes. And I love the fact, as I mentioned before in another video, you can customize the look, the taper, the kind of style of it by just manipulating the zippers on the bottom just a little bit. For look four, I went with one of my go-to shirts. This is Skander Linen Floral Embroidered button down shirt. I love the cut of this shirt. This is literally one of my favorite pieces of all time. It is slightly cropped in the body, still a little boxy and oversized, slightly dropped shoulder, and the fabric feels substantial while also feeling incredibly breathable on the body. I could literally gush about the quality of this shirt forever. It is probably one of the best pieces I have ever purchased in my life from a designer that I know little to no information about. For the bottoms, it's my Rick Owens Drop Crotch Cropped Organic Cotton Trousers. Oh my God, what a product description but you gotta say it all. The cut of the shirt really give the pants an opportunity to shine. Once again, showing off those signature Rick Owens drawstrings, as well as the deep, deep, deep drop crotch that you get on these trousers. The organic cotton is stretchy and breathable, light, very easy for the so flow fall, but also would be great for anybody's fall. I really love the drop crotch and how it makes it look like I'm kind of sagging my pants. It's probably one of my favorite things about the drop crotch Rick pants. I know a lot of Rick fans don't like the drop crotch, but I love it. I mean, I'm wearing my Bauhaus cropped ones with the with the deep drop crotch right now. For the footwear, I went with my Dr. Martin's 1490 Bex with the platform sole and the custom artwork done by yours truly under my sad Marcus jump off, which I'm wearing a sad summer hoodie. I did this. I made this hoodie. I forgot to mention that at the very beginning, but this is my hoodie. I just really, really love the way it brought the whole outfit together and added like a, just a little, little hint of edge to it, which we all kind of need in our outfits. A little edgy, a little fashion, you know, a little, little fashion. For the fifth and final look, I really wanted to put together something sleek and kind of edgy, really nice that I can wear out to a club or a bar, out to dinner with my partner, but I could also wear to work if I want it to look a little bit more elevated. For this, I grabbed once again another Subi vacation shirt, this time the animal multicolored print one, which I paired with the Subi Haslo in black this time. I really love the camp collar design as well as the very subtle black piping around the collar and the placket of the shirt, which really just elevates it 
that much more. The Haslow jeans paired really nicely with my Calvin Klein 205 West 39th NYC TXT harness boots, which are currently missing the harness as I lost them when I went to my boy Drew's wedding in Chicago earlier this year. Either way, they still look amazing without the harness, really bringing those 2014-2015 SLP vibes. The cut of the Haslow is absolutely perfect for this pant, and I'm actually considering putting some slits on them to kind of give them a slightly flared look to them. I added this Subi chain strap to my waist. Typically, it would be used as like an additional bag strap or a camera strap or something like that. But I wanted to use it more like a wallet chain, which was very easy to do by just doubling it up and giving it that double chain look on the side. And it really gives the outfit a little added depth. So that's it. That's the video for this week. It probably took me about 40 minutes because I made so many errors to give you this 10 minute video. I hope it actually comes across really, really nice. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Down in the comments below, tell me which one of these fits are your favorite. Or if you would have done something different in these fits, if you would take any of these elements and pair them together instead of how I did it. Of course, as is the new tradition in these videos, our boy smells candle to our right. This this time we are using the Ghani collab, uh, which I think is called Park Life. And if you feel so inclined, follow me on Instagram. This is a running joke in the video. My boy Taylor actually told me he couldn't see the handle in it. And that is a little bit of the point is to make you freeze the frame and go look at it. It's supposed to be funny. I hope you guys enjoy that joke. Anyway, I am Marcus, AKA Crooked Mark, AKA Sad Marcus. And I will be back with you again next week. Until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.